Yeah, so an, another sort of um, classic sound that I really wanted to to remake on a synth was the um, was the original uh, Reese sound, which is kind of not um, not what you classically call a, a Reese drum and bass now, which is very growly and sort of toppy and distorted. But the the original kind of Reese sound, which sounds a bit like this. And you know, there's famous old drum and bass tunes like Terrorist by Ray Keith use this sound, and it's really um, you know you're getting a lot of newer guys like um, uh, comics who sort of have really brought back this sound, and it's, it's a wicked, wicked sound. So I, I really got into trying to recreate it. I mean, you can actually find samples of it very easily, and you could use those. But I was having trouble with um, with the low end of it because this it's kind of um, essentially the Sounds like these are made by um, by detuning waves. Uh, the problem you get from that, though, is that the the low end um, is very uneven when you do that because the waves will start to phase with each other, um, and you'll basically get a very uneven level. Which I'll, I'll just demonstrate that. Here's the here's the massive channel that I'm using to create the sounds, and. These are the detune waves on their own. You can, you can see that the level's jumping around. So really what you want to um, be able to do is take some of the very lows out and layer it with another sine wave to get like more of a solid sub. So the, I set up this patch so that the, um, there are two detune waves which are basically sine waves with on the formant setting on uh, on massive, so it's a slightly they're slightly altered sine waves, and they're detuned by about thirty each way. Um, it's actually important to do this within the oscillators rather than within the unison section in massive, because if you if you um, apply the detuning within the unison, it affects every oscillator, and you want to have one clear oscillator that's not being detuned so that you can actually add the, the solid low underneath. Um, and for this I've just, I've just got a basic sine wave which has got no detuning at all. And I've, I've routed it so that the detune waves are being, all being routed through um, filter 1 which has got a very slight high pass on it so it means that all the lows are cut out of it. There's no movement on the high pass. And then mixed in with that I have um, the plain sine wave going through filter 2 and it's, it's um, Going and that both the filters are, are being mixed together at the end stage, so it creates this, which you can see if you compare the levels, is much much more solid, and there's actually a lot of low end in that sound now, whereas before the low end was just jumping around, and there's there's a lot of different sounds like these. I mean, I'll bring up another one quickly, which which are this is a kind of again quite um, quite reminiscent of some of the bass sounds that, that comics have been using recently and, um, and actually with this one it's teaching triangle waves through a low pass to give it a bit more um, sort of tonal movement so it's not completely static all the way through but again because of the detuning I've layered a sign over in a slightly different way on this patch um, but it's important to do that to actually get that real um, Real low end to it. otherwise sounds like these are are very inconsistent and they're generally quite hard to work with. But this is the solution to to getting them to sound right in the mix. <laughs>